Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and yes today we're working on radios and as you can see right now I've got my Kuang Cheng in frame. This is because today we're going to be looking at how to extend the backlight on the Kuang Cheng. So obviously if I was to turn it on, like was to transmit and wait in about five seconds, there you go, the light turns off but we want to be able to keep this backlight on for a lot longer so today I'm going to show you how to do that so you're going to need a computer with windows you're going to need a programming cable and of course your Kuang Sheng radio so I'm going to plug it in and then we're going to show you how to basically program this um, radio to do so but first before anything when you are plugging this in it needs to be in a programming mode so what we're going to do is we're going to hold the push to talk button and twist now as you can see the light has come on this means that the radio is in a programming mode to so say you you were to update the radio this is how you do so now you've done that you can plug the usb into the computer and then the side port into the radio so i'm going to plug in and then we're going to move over to the computer and we're going to continue from there so right now as you can see we're on chrome so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this web address here so it is i'm going to leave it in the description who's mat.github.io slash uvmod again this will be in the description and we're going to be taken to this page so remember our radio is in a programming mode so now right here we've got a list of different modifications that um, we can patch onto the radio um, you can add some of these if you'd like but for us we're just going to be working with the LCD backlight extension so we're going to scroll down until we can see backlight duration. Now we're at the backlight duration, we're going to tick the box. And then we're going to choose how long do you want it on for. So you can choose up to 10 seconds, to 20 seconds, or to 40 seconds. Me personally, I'm probably going to choose 20 seconds. Once we've done this, we're going to go over to this right side where it says console. And we're going to press patch firmware. Now this is going to create the firmware ready. For the radio now what we're going to do is we're going to flash directly so press flash directly then it's going to come up and say connect to a serial port as you can see paired it can see the radio and we're going to press connect now as you can see the radio will start flashing the light on the top and at the right you can see flashing and the percentage so what we're going to do is we're going to let this get to 100 once it's got to 100 I'm going to safely disconnect the radio just by unplugging it and then we're going to move back to the camera and we're going to show you that this has been complete. So as you can see, successfully flashed firmware. The radio has just restarted on me. So I'm just going to disconnect it now. Right, it is now disconnected. I am going to move over to the camera and I'm going to show you what we have done. So we're back with the radio. As you can see, we just set up on PMR6. So now hopefully... Well, not hopefully, now, when I click transmit or I do anything up, down, it will now be, as you can see, 20 seconds before this cuts off. So we'll just leave it, we'll leave it, and we'll wait until the screen goes blank. But as you can see, this has been completed. I have now extended the LCD screen time. If you want to put 40 seconds, you can put 40 seconds. You can kind of choose, but it just extends it a little bit longer, which can be very helpful when you're trying to read stuff or you're kind of going through stuff and you need a bit more light. So I hope this video has been helpful and very simple. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.